All right guys, so I've been putting off this video for a really long time and now I'm doing this video and my skin is a mess, but <laughs> we're gonna do it. Um, I am drinking my coconut water. I'm fresh out of the shower. I did do my skincare routine, so I'm looking a little oily skinned right now. Um, I will show you guys what I used. We're gonna be doing, we're gonna shut this off. Um, we're gonna be doing kind of like a prom MPC pageant makeup today. Um, so it's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be bold because I finally have somewhere to go. So that is going to be fun and I'm excited for it. Don't mind the wet hair, don't mind the crazy looking skin and all that. Um, this is the Glycolic Expert Moisturizer by Exuvians, I got this at uh, Ulta. And I like honestly rarely use it to be honest, but you know. I'm also wearing Zerjoff Italica today, which is part of the Casamori line. And we'll talk about this while we get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prep my skin. So we have on the moisturizer, we have on, um, I did spray some of this Indie Lee lotion toner with CoQ10. Um, so I did that to kind of like prep my skin. I like to use toners, it helps. We're using, um, it's a sample, it's this YSL Touch Eclay. I'm like so shaky, Touch Eclay. I've had like a really bad day today, honestly. I'm hoping this, uh, this YouTube tutorial will like cheer me up because it's been a, a rough day. <laughs> it hasn't been the best day. Um, should we do a story time? I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how I feel. So. We'll talk about Italica during this video, um, and we'll just have fun with it. So, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Jeffree Star JS5 brush. I think that's what this one is. You could use a MAC 217. Um, I used MAC for a million years because I worked for a MAC, and I'm actually probably just gonna use, I might have to grab a palette. Um, but yeah, I, I worked for MAC for I think six years in total. I left for a little bit to manage supplement stores and I loved that and I was a personal trainer and then I came back to MAC because I love beauty. I love beauty and I love working out. So it's like two things I absolutely love. And so I kind of wanted to marry them together and that's how this YouTube channel came to be. So I'm glad I get to do this uh, makeup routine for you guys today. This is the, like exactly what I did for um, my MPC competition that I did both times actually. So I can insert photos from those events um, so that you guys can see what I looked like during those events. So um, this one is the Painterly. So we just used the Painterly with that 217 brush. This one is from MAC. Um, I do have another one that I really like too. This one is the Long Wearing Cream Shadow Stick um, by Bobbi Brown in Golden Pink. And this one's really pretty for like an everyday look. I just like to put that on and I don't like wear anything else. It's perfect. I love it. Um, so we're going to start by doing this brush. Super fluffy, kind of like a blender brush. And this one is the Pro Crease in 10. I don't know where I got this. Oh, it's a Sephora brush. So this is the Sephora brush Pro Crease in 10. And we're gonna load up on our palette. We're gonna use the Natasha Diona palette. Um, and we're gonna take this color right here. And that is in Sienna. Okay, so we took Sienna and we're just lightly kind of like tapping it in. And we're just gonna go right in the crease. So we're gonna go ahead. I don't know if you guys can see that okay. We're just going to go ahead and pop this in the crease. So anyways, um, yeah, I have on Italica today. I wanted something very like queen of hearts for this, this going out for this event because it's a charity event. Um, everyone is wearing pink for the event. So I bought a pink dress. There was some drama with Revolve today. It was actually drama with UPS, but Revolve did not handle it very well. So, um, earlier this week, like on Monday, I had ordered dress and tons of shoes and some jewelry from Revolve. 
and I was like, oh, this is perfect for Friday, and it said it would get here by Wednesday. So, of course, I'm like, perfect, this sounds great, let's do it. Ended up buying it, and taking this brush right here. This is the Sonique Cashew from Target, actually. This is one of my favorite brushes. I've used this for so many years. Um, I think it's like the 239 brush or something from MAC is similar. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like just a really good, um, it's a really good like finger brush. Like it kind of reminds me of using like the pad of your finger. So we're going to go and we're going to take Lumino, which is this middle one right here. It's the really bright one. And we're going to go ahead and pop that right in here. So I like to really like press it in, like dab it in. Because I want to blind people with these eyes. Like I want these eyes to be dazzling. And so we're really going to kind of just pat that in. So yeah, I bought the dress and I was super, super, super excited for the shoes, for the dress, for the jewelry, for it all. Like I was just like, yes, this is going to look amazing. So excited. So I get a notification, an email saying that my package was delivered. So I opened my ring camera because I don't remember my ring camera, you know, going off. Anyone who's like a shopaholic knows they're getting packages when their ring goes off. <laughs> my ring never went off so i was like that's odd that's unusual i don't think they delivered it so i was like maybe they dropped it in the parcel locker but the email said that they delivered it to the front door i'm like mm, that's suspect they were like at 4 10 we dropped off your package to the front door and it was nowhere to be found so i'm like well that's odd so I waited till the morning. I contacted them. We're gonna take um, bronzage, which is this one on the very end. I contacted them in the morning and they were like, oh no, you received it. It says it was delivered. And I'm like, well, it wasn't. Like I have video footage. They're like, well, check your alleyway. I'm like, there is no alley. Like you guys have seen my backyard. It's literally a pool and then it backs up on conservation. And they're like, well, are you in a townhouse? And I'm like, no. And they're like, okay, well, uh, could it be in your driveway? And I'm like, no, the driveway is like in the front. It's by the door. And they're like, was well, it at the side door? I'm like, we don't have a side door. We have cameras all over our house. Like it wasn't delivered. Um, and they like kind of put me through the ringer. It was like really bad customer service in my opinion. Sorry, we're using this brush. This is like a short kind of, um, good crease brush. So we're just kind of doing little outside corner. We're going to try and lift the corners a little bit by going up dabbing up so they were basically just kind of like going around kicking around the topic and they're like well we need to um move this to our fraud department or investigation department and so that's that and they're kind of cold about it and i was just like that's not reassuring like i really needed this package for today and like no one really knew what was going on and i was like well i'll just call ups i guess so same thing with UPS. The lady was like, why don't you just go to your neighbor's house and see if they have it? And I was like, well, that is an option. She goes, I'm shocked that no one's, um, no one knows there's neighbors these days. Like she was trying to act like I was just like some idiot. And I like hate when people do that. Like, I'm just like, dude, just give me like decent respect. Like I understand that you're dealing with like a stressful job all day. I get it. Like, trust me, I get, I do get it. But at the same time, like I haven't done anything. I haven't said anything. I have a pimple. Because my skin is so broken out. Wow, my skin is so broken out from my Reese's binge. It's really bad. I mean, things could be worse, but it's not ideal. Anyways, um, I was just really kind of disappointed with how they handled it. She was very rude, very condescending the entire time. And she was like, well, are you sure you didn't like misplace the package or, you know, are you sure? And just all this stuff. And I'm like, all I'm asking you to do is um, pull up. I know that they have the GPS on the trucks. Just pull up the GPS, see who is working and we'll get it figured out. Like, you know, I've had this problem with uh, UPS before and my neighbors returned the package to my house. But this was like, I was pressed for time. I really want to know where this package was. It was stressing me out because it was an expensive package. Um, and they had misplaced a Killian perfume, which was no, I love my perfumes. I take that very seriously. So I was just like, this is unreal that like I'm being treated 
so awful for something that wasn't my fault like i there's no part in this that i did that was like my fault well she looks it up she's like oh it was this new guy who was on the route i'm gonna take this color right here this is in coin coin it's spelled weird though it's like q u o i n coin 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 so we're just gonna go in here and just kind of lighten this up a little blend this out so anyways um she goes in and she sees it's like this new guy who is on the route and she texts him or calls him whatever she needs to do and she goes you do your part i'll do my part she was like very rude very abrasive I find that a lot of people in customer service these days are so overwhelmed. Like, I can't even imagine. Like, I'm in customer service too. I work in real estate. But, like, I don't know. I think as a collective, we need to just treat each other better, to be honest. Because this was just very not needed today. Like, I verge of tears. Not needed today. Like, it's been a hard day. A very difficult day for me. Um, I won't go into all that. I don't want to, like, open all that up on YouTube. But um it's just been a hard day and the way that i was treated was just so poor on every single account from um dealing with revolve to dealing with ups that from now on i definitely will work on not ever having packages come through ups or through um i will never buy anything from revolve ever again like ever again um so anyways She's like, okay, so it's this guy, he's new on the route. We're gonna go in with concealer now. Um, it's this guy, he's new on the route. Like, this is so simple, you guys. This is like the most simple makeup. Um, I did forget to blend, so we're gonna take this big fluffy blender brush and we're gonna go in to the eye area of the crease area and just blend. So she was like, oh yeah, it's this guy, he's like new on the route, blah, blah, blah. She calls him, he's like, oh yeah, I, did, I couldn't find the house, so I basically just dropped it off at a different address and gave her the other address like what if you couldn't find the address which it's right out on front and she's like well maybe you should make the sign clear i'm like it's literally clear as day everyone in this in this place has the same spot that they have their address he just didn't want to do his job he just threw it on someone's um he probably wanted to go he probably had something he was doing that was more important so anyways he like threw it on like my not even my neighbor he threw it on like two houses down across the street and just took off I was like what well whatever they'll figure it out like that could have ended bad do you know what i mean like it, thank god my neighbor's amazing but that could have ended really poorly and it caused a head like a headache a really bad headache so anyway sorry this is armani i'm so bad at this you guys armani luminous silk concealer in five so anyways that caused like a unneeded stress it took four and a half hours out of my morning to get this solved and honestly it was it was not fun so that was my morning between doing that and trying to you know catch up with clients and get everything done it was just it was very 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 not a good morning and then I had personal stuff going on. So anyways, enough of that. It was frustrating, but I learned a lesson that I will start going in person to places. Like I'm gonna be more attentive to going in person to places than using online shipping because honestly, I don't trust online shipping that much anymore. Like I used to, like I used to feel like, oh, you know, they can do no wrong. There's been too many incidences lately, and I'm just shaping my brows right now. So I'm kind of like cutting out my brows. There's been too many incidences lately of people's packages going missing or not being delivered to the right address. And I'm just not, I don't have the energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, if I'm in the area and I need something, I'm just going to go to the mall. It'll be better, it'll be easier, I can actually see it in person. Thank God a mall still exists, even though I've been watching a lot of dead mall YouTubes lately. Which are kind of like weird and depressing in a way. I'm just going to do this. My skin is so pink right now. It's so inflamed. So I get for eating all the Reese's. Um, but anyways, dead malls. So 
so interesting, so crazy that malls were like a huge thing in like the 1970, 1980, even like 1990. And then in like the 2000s, okay, we're going in with, I'm so like, meh about my makeup you guys you guys are seeing this and you're probably like wow really this is this is it it's it um this is what you get <laughs> but um yeah malls were such a thing and like even in the 2000s and then i feel like they started building a lot of outdoor malls and like the indoor malls started to kind of die a little bit it's just really interesting how culture shifts and changes and things can be so like hot one second and then like the next you know year they can start to phase out the next decade they can start to phase out it's just really really interesting how that all works so this looks really light to me so what we're going to do is we're going to take a darker foundation and actually when I compete, I do use, so if you guys are doing like this as a makeup for a pageant, um, I would take a brush like this and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to get all the little areas that we need to get. Okay, so the foundation that I usually use for competing is this guy right here this is 4w1 so i'll use this um with the lighter to create like a contour effect i'm just going to show you guys let me check on time make sure we're doing good okay so we're going to take this well, actually, I'm going to use this. So this is the MAC. It's so dirty. Let me clean this for you guys. I feel like this is, like, very bad representation. It's just in my powder drawer. Like, it's where I keep the powder so they can be, like, dirty sometimes. So this is the MAC Pro Longwear. This is good in the humidity. Um, and then we may be outside for a little bit today. So I just want to make sure I'm using stuff that's going to be appropriate for that. This is NC46. It's a little dark, truthfully, honestly. But I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do. We're going to take a sponge. I have this guy right here. It looks dirty. I clean it like every other day. We're just going to wet it. Take my little Kleenex. I'm going to move all the other stuff off to the side so we don't get distracted. And we're going to take our palette, which is the back of our hand. We're taking the darker color. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of start... Make sure you guys can see this okay. I'm just going to start to kind of contour... I like to contour my nose and I actually had someone ask me on Instagram who follows my YouTube channel she's like when did you have your nose job I'm like oh you mean my foundation contour <laughs> it literally changes the shape of your nose you guys I want to get a nose job I'm just really nervous to do it so in the meantime I'll just, you know, fake it till you make it. And honestly, I've learned over this past year that nothing's worth risking your health for vanity. Like, I know we all want to, like, look a certain way and we want to look our best. But personally, I've just gotten to a point where I'm like, if makeup can't fix it or, like, you know, if makeup can't make it look a little bit better... I don't know I just I'm kind of at this point in my life where I'm just like does it really matter like I want to look my best I want to be presentable but I don't feel the need to be like as I don't say as glamorous I like feeling pretty but I want to feel more minimal and sophisticated and I, like the whole changing yourself for beauty and paying all that money and all that downtime just doesn't seem worth it to me that's just a personal thing i know that everyone's gonna be different but to me it's just it's something that i'm like not really i don't value personally enough to go through with it and that could change things could change things always change in life i'm just saying that right now at this moment my health is like my top priority in all ways so what we're doing is we're just kind of carving out the cheek here we contour the forehead area 
We're gonna go through and do the nose in just a second. I just wanna make sure there's like a hair, a couple hairs. My hairs get all over the place. But you can see it's glowy, it's luminous. Um, I have really oily skin. So if you are an oily skin type, this is actually a really good foundation. The Pro Longwear actually works really well on dry skin too. So it's kind of a universal, um, a universal foundation. The only downside is that it is not gluten free. And I have celiac disease and you guys know I have to be very careful. So I only use it once in a blue moon. I'm not eating my foundation, but yes, I'm putting it on my skin. It's getting on my hands. It's getting everywhere. Um, and that to me is kind of like, you just, you want to be careful when you have celiac to like, if you don't have to get exposed, then don't get exposed. It's just, I have this, I want to use it up. Um, and it's a really good product. So it kind of stinks that it is. I wish Mac would make more, um, gluten-free perfumes or gluten-free, um, foundations. One thing I always do, and I learned this from my sister, is I do a carve the chin out. So I'm actually going to take like the rest of this foundation and I might mix a little bit of a lighter color just so it doesn't get too cray cray. Look how cray do you want to look. We don't want any like lines of demarcation. So yeah, I might mix a little foundation with it. See how it's just gonna kind of give a little bit more contour to the jawline, you can bring it back. I always do like the ears too. Don't forget to blend um, your foundation. I used to do this in my 20s. And I had a girlfriend who was like, Celia, why don't you ever blend your foundation? Like it drives me crazy. Like it drove her freaking crazy she's like it looks so off just please learn how to blend your foundation into your ears noted i learned so you can already kind of see what we're doing here we don't have lashes on yet and i need to actually go grab lashes in a second i bought lashes on sephora.com they were on sale i love a good sale um just kind of seeing how this looks from the side i might have to like lighten it up a little bit you guys can kind of see the nose is looking a little cray um we're just going to take a little bit of our original foundation and just oh wait ah! Ah! wait is this the dark one i don't even know anymore okay so we're just going to take our original foundation making a mess so we're going to take our original foundation and just kind of I think this is the original. Oh my god, I don't know. We use the side of the sponge to blend together. Blend, blend, blend. And actually, we're gonna do highlight, like a gel highlight. This is a Marc Jacobs in Moonlit. It's a really good highlight. It's like a gel. It's like that. I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. I'm actually gonna use a different sponge because I don't wanna get excess foundation. So I'm gonna take this, dry it down a little bit, kind of dab it off. If your sponge is too wet, it's gonna lift product, so I don't want to lift any product. I want to just spread the product. So we're going to create ultra glow here. That's the goal is to be just like a little angel. Little angel. Hi angels. Literally, hi angels. Okay, so we have that on. You could do like the nose and stuff, but I'm super oily. So we're not going to do that today. Personal choice. We're going to move on. Um, so oh, I have an itch. I hate when this happens. Uh, try not to touch my skin. Okay, so I have an itch. Um, I have a million messages. Give me a second. 
So I did read somewhere that you're supposed to wet your sponge when you do the powder. Um, we're gonna try this out today because I feel like I did this for my shows and I'm just forgetting about it, like I'm having amnesia about it. But we're gonna go ahead and do that. But first, we're just gonna go ahead and smooth out. I have the world's biggest freaking pimple. Guys, guys. <gasps> this is bad, I have such a big pimple. It's okay. We're doing our best here. We're not perfect. So we're taking the Jaclyn Hill, which I am obsessed with. I didn't know what to expect. I've tried her um, eyeshadows before, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're gonna bake. We're gonna bake this cake. We're gonna bake this gluten-free cake right here. But wow, okay, so let's talk about her powder. The formula is incredible, very long wearing. And what I've noticed is that it just really brightens up the under eye area. Has a little shimmer in it, but you don't see the shimmer. It just gives like a nice glow to the skin. I love it. Like, I know Jaclyn Hill will probably never see this video, but Jaclyn you're amazing like your makeup is incredible i love the packaging i'm gonna show you guys the packaging this one's in brightening pink it comes and it looks so cute and just it's so classy that i don't mind leaving it out on my stand i have two of hers i have the brightening pink and the um brightening light banana and i don't mind leaving them out i think they look so chic and so jacqueline you did amazing um i love you and seriously, your videos sometimes make me feel so much better. Less alone in life sometimes. I watch her videos and I'm like, I just feel like she's one of those girls that you'd be really good friends with. Like, she's like the best friend, you know? Like, she's just always, like, so positive and cute and cheery. And I don't know, I just really like Jaclyn Hill. I've always liked Jaclyn Hill. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in with our Annie Lawless. This one is gluten-free. Annie Lawless actually has celiac disease. And so I trust her makeup out of like any line because first off, I like was one of the first people to buy her lip stuff when it went, when it went on sale, um, not on sale, but when it went for sale, she had like three colors in the beginning. And I think I was like one of the first people to order off the website. Like I stalked it until it went live and I went crazy. I bought a lot. It was really cute. She used to ship it in like lawless container. And I don't know if she still does that because I haven't ordered from her website. I just ordered from Sephora or pick it up from Sephora. But I remember when she got into Sephora, I was so happy. Oh my God, I was so, so happy because I trust her makeup. It's good quality. It's clean ingredients. There's no gluten in it. So win, win, win. Anyways, what are we doing right now? We are baking the rest of our face because I am oily. Like, I don't think you guys understand when I tell you I am like an oil mine. Like, I know gas prices are high right now, but if we could use the oil on my face, we wouldn't have a problem right now. Like seriously, we wouldn't have a problem. I have so much oil in my skin that I will get shiny. Even doing this technique, I will get shiny like an hour from now. It's nuts. So I'm just kind of pushing the powder in and then I'm gonna let it sit for a second while I finish up doing eyes. And I'm gonna kind of uh, dust it off while I touch up the rest of the stuff. You'll see what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we are going to take um, the blender brush again and we're just gonna go back in. We're just gonna really blend, blend, blend. And now we're gonna take this guy, which I believe this is my really old, I've had this MAC brush. Yeah, it's a MAC 262, I believe, or 252. It's like a pointed brush like this. This is great for under the eyebrow. I don't want super shiny because I have super shiny. I don't want super shiny because I have super shiny on the lid. And I find when you do too much glitter, it can look chaotic. So we're gonna take Brulee, which is my go-to neutral from MAC. I love Brulee, I go through like one of these a year. 
I still don't use a ton of it because I just put it underneath. Like I used to kind of carve out the brows. So we're just carving out the brow, we're pressing it in and then kind of just so then on the other side we're gonna do the same thing carve 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 and then i'm also gonna take it on a fluffy brush like this we're just gonna go ahead and blend everything it's going to blend and brighten everything so we're just going right back into that inner corner and kind of just beep. okay that brightens everything up so that was brulee and then what i'm going to do is i am going to take floof so i kind of lied to you guys i hope you don't mind i'm going to take floof which is super super highlight super super shimmery like it's hard to tell in this lighting and it's hard to tell in here but i'm just gonna put a little like and when i mean a little i mean a little like almost microscopic amount right here like literally just enough to enhance the brow a little bit i don't know if you guys can see that but it looks good it looks floofy it looks amazing so we enhanced our brow just enough to where we get that push-up effect if you wanted to you could take this on the inner corner which why not let's have some fun tonight there's a better brush for this but you know what f it okay so the better brush option though would be this one this little guy is like my go-to for the inner corner i just bring it bring it and i'll actually do that right now do you like the sound effects bring it bring it so we're good to go there. Um, now, what were we going to do? Oh, right. Okay, so we are going to take our bronzer. So we're going to take Too Faced. This is bronzer in Chocolate Seal. This one smells like chocolate. It's delicious. This is actually really, really old. I want to say that this one is probably like two years old. Um, I think I had this one on my wedding day. We got married on the 25th of October, 2020. So yeah, it's been like almost two years. I don't know, something like that. And we're gonna go in like that. I like to get the sides of the forehead because it gives it a more blended appearance. And then just a little bit. I like to do the tip of the nose because I have like a pretty big nose. So I like to kind of conceal my tip a little. Gives it like a sun kiss glow too. So we got that on. Um, now we're going to go back in and do eyes. So we are going to use the, I actually really, really like this. This is the one size point made bodacious black. Um, this one is really, 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 really good. Um, really really love this it's a 24-hour liquid liner and it just looks like this I find it works really good I'm gonna try and grab a mirrored compact so that I can do this for you guys we're gonna use the pretty basic mirrored compact from Tarte and I never do my eyeliner in one full shot I do it in little teeny movements So like inner corner of the eye. There we go. I don't know if you guys got to see that, but very thin. We're gonna go to the other side. I think I hear my husband getting home, yep. He's back. So we're gonna do a little bit of a cat eye. So while we're baking our gluten-free cake, we're gonna take our wing and we're just gonna go right in here. Sometimes I like to hold the eye up a little, so I'm just gonna go like this. 
let's hope and pray that that works because that is far from the mirror oh lord that did not work i have the world's most hooded eyes give me one second guys so hopefully i don't look like a freak but this is it we did like a winged liner-esque type stitch other side Don't worry if you mess up, you can always go back in. There's always a way to fix it. Makeup's not permanent, like other life decisions. All right, so we're gonna take a little coconut water break and I'm gonna say hi to my husband, I'll be right back. We have the lashes, these are the Lily lashes. They were on sale at Sephora, I hope I look like this. That'd be amazing, that'd be nice, but we don't have airbrush following us around 24 7. okay anyways lily lashes are the best you can reuse them like a billion times unlike ardell's i find that ardell's have a flimsy um base so you cannot reuse and we're just going to take mascara we're going to darken the lashes because i have blonde lashes also mascara is good for holding the lash to the false lash so it's good to have a little something on your lashes all right guys so we are back um hello hi how are you so we're back um we've been baking this gluten-free cake for a while so we're gonna go ahead and take this off it's like super baked we're gonna have to spray with a lot of um so i use uh, I have a couple different ones but i like the hangover rx by Too faced this is a um setting spray it will kind of take down the powdery look when you leave your um baking on a little too long you get this weird kind of like reverse raccoon or is it actual raccoon eyes i don't know reverse raccoon i don't know but it's like way too bright especially if the powder is like really light so you just want to make sure you can get as much of it blended as possible and then we'll go in with the spray so we're gonna like touch up all over okay well it's as good as we're gonna get does that look weird i don't know maybe we'll take a little bit of the bronzer br brush blush brush we're gonna take the blonde the bronzer brush we're just gonna kind of blend that out just a little bit. Tone down that raccoon life that we had going on. There we go, I feel like that's a little bit better. So we're gonna take our blush next and I like to use a big fluffy brush. Some people like a thinner brush. Um, this one just works really good. It's a Too Faced that I got inside of a kit. And we're gonna take this Kylie in Winter Kissed, which I think is really pretty. I've had this for like a really long time because I never wear it. But the other day I wore it and it was really, really cute. So we're gonna do that with Over the Moon by Sephora. I believe that this is just like regular old Sephora brand. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't know if it's gonna go so well, but we'll give it a try. It's more of like a violet um, pink and we're just going back and forth between the two, getting ample product just a little bit i like it back on my cheekbone i think with how round my face is this makes me look a little bit older whereas if i put it right on the um i do it up a little ways too but if i put it right on the apple i look really like my face is really wide like i look like an apple face isn't that right babe apple head shawl. what apple head shawl. what's that it's an apple head shawl. oh apple <laughs> I thought you said apple hawachua. I was like, what is that? Apple head chihuahua. Yeah, I look like a chihuahua, basically. I have like a big head. Yeah. Like a Bratz doll, a chihuahua. Yeah. Tell us a funny story, Mark. Tell us something that happened today. 
Tell, tell YouTube something that you need to know besides Curtis Connor's amazing. I won't put that in there. We are editing that out. Um, okay, so we have this on. What do you think this blush? Pow, pow, pow. Could it? I don't know. I think, I think it's kind of pretty. So I also take my blush and I just do a little bit here on the nose, a little on the chin just to kind of blend everything together. Throw that bad boy in there. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of highlight before we pop on these lashes and finish the eyes. So we're taking, this is my favorite highlighter ever and I don't know if it is discontinued. This is Champagne Pop by Becca. Seriously, the most flawless, you guys will see, flawless highlight ever. I like to bring it up a little bit. Everyone is gonna have their own unique area that they like to put highlight. I like it to accentuate my blush and then I do just a little bit over the brows. A little on the tip of the nose, ping ping, and a little right here. Actually, I'm gonna take a little more. I like to accentuate my Cupid's bow. Hello, I feel like an alien goddess. Okay, so <laughs> next we are going to take our glue and our spray. You wanna shake your spray up. I like to really, really coat the face. And sometimes I'll take the blow dryer and I'll blow, but today we will uh, skip that part. All right, um, we're gonna take the glue and we are going to actually put it on the back of our hand, our canvas that we love so much. Normally I'll just use it straight out of the glue container, but sometimes that can get a little messy, so. I'm gonna do things like so today. So these are the lashes. We're gonna go ahead and measure these out. Just wanna make sure that they fit. Whoa, these are intense. I don't know if I wanna wear these. Okay, these are really intense. I do wanna wear these, but I need to cut them just a little bit. They're super fluffy, they're super intense. Um, they're very dramatic. So we're gonna take this um, MAC scissors, some mini scissors, and we're just gonna cut off. Did I have this on the right way? Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I had this on the wrong, no. That's the right way. But let's just try this on the other eye before we decide to get snippy with it. Okay, I'm gonna wear these on the opposite eyes, I think because it looks better. Well, let me compare again. This is the type of day it's been. Okay, we're gonna wear them as so. I'm just gonna cut off the last one and then see how it looks again without stabbing myself in the eye because safety first. All right, so this looks good. We're just gonna run it through the um, glue. Let it get nice and tacky. Okay, it's gonna get nice and tacky. I'm gonna take a little Sephora placement thing, which I never really actually use, but we're gonna try it out tonight. Pray for me that this works because we don't have time to mess around if it doesn't work. And we are going to drop it on the lashes so you guys can see what we're doing. I'm the world's worst at lashes. I really am starting to love Lashify because it's so much simpler. The only thing I don't like about it is it's not like... Well, actually, it is kind of like... um if you were to have fake lashes on or like lash extensions, I used to do lash extensions. Not on other people, but like I used to go somewhere and get them done on myself. And I felt like you couldn't really do your eye makeup and it was hard to kind of clean up the eye makeup. So that was the only like thing that I had against doing them or doing the lashifies. But 
I don't really wear much makeup when I have the Lashify on, to be honest. Like, you don't really need a whole lot of makeup. Like, you, that's the whole point is you want to be able to just kind of like get up and go. So they're good for that. So we're going to do the same on the other side. So just remember how much you cut off. We only cut one little sprig off. We're going to go ahead and run it through again. My husband is covered in animals. Are they preventing you from doing what you need to do? I'm sure they're really hot. Okay. Yeah, I love the Lily lashes. I like that they're really, really thick. Huh? You can have the lashes when you use the same Probably. Meow, meow. I am too. It's hot in here. So muggy in our bathroom after showers. I should have left the fan on, but then I couldn't finish this video. Are you doing a video? You're supposed to be getting ready. Because it's part of the video. I never really do makeup like this unless I'm going out, out. Okay, so we're gonna go above, drop down, like so. So there's this really cool cocktail spot. I sent you it on Instagram. It's called To You. It's called Hanson's. Did you see that? It's like Hanson's shoe repair. Oh, I saw you sent me something about cocktails. I didn't see what it was. Yeah. I think I liked it or something. We should go. My shoes are fine right now, though. No, it's a drink spot. But my shoes are okay. Okay. That's I need you to know that. Okay, so I put the this on way too quickly. The glue wasn't dry enough, so we're gonna just have to hold this in place while it dries. It's like the number one mistake people make when they first start doing lashes is they don't account for dry time like you want them to get really tacky like me in the morning <laughs> tacky <laughs> bad jokes okay so womp 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 um yeah and the thing about wearing lashes this thick is that they will come up so sometimes i take my glue with me and actually i might do that tonight because i am a little nervous that these aren't like fully on 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 but if my last shirts to come up babe can we just leave the party yeah perfect Get yourself a spouse that that says that that you can just leave if uh if your looks start to go south mark's making fun of me because my extensions fell out on fourth of july and my apartment's pool and my friend had to like scoop it up and throw it into a lunch box it was really embarrassing anyways um we're gonna do underneath we're gonna first do liner so we're gonna use this really old ratted tatted two-faced killer kajal i love this stuff i just don't really like i went for so long not doing any lower uh lower lower liner i cannot talk today but i went for like a year and a half without doing any lower liner so if you look back at videos, you'll see that I like really wasn't into it. No particular reason, just like wasn't being as dramatic as I normally am. So this is with lower lash liner and then this is without. Um, they're both pretty. Just depends on the vibe you're going for. Mark Spring, which one are you wearing? A wash? Mark Spring, Amouage, Lyric Man. I'm gonna do this real quick, I'll be right back, guys. Come back, boys. All right, boom, boom, pow. So we have the lashes on, we're almost there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this um, gray color, like the ring ring, or actually we're gonna do content, baby content, which is this back one right here. We're gonna take that with a, with a Morphe M508. And this is kind of wet because I just washed it. Let's hope it works. It's working. This is gonna give us a nice little under the eye area. See how it's just gonna make it connect a little better just gonna make it look a little bit better. 
Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna take it on the other eye. Make the funniest faces. When I'm doing makeup, I'm like always making weird faces. Ooh. So this is almost the final look. We just need to do lips and then we will be set to go. So I'm gonna grab a lip, but first we're gonna like brush teeth, get ready for that stitch, and then I'll be right back. All right guys, I gotta run, but I just a really quick, simple lip. Um, this is the Lawless. I got it during holidays, so I don't know if it's still avail, but this is the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I love it. It is gluten-free, again, it's the Lawless line, and this one is in Daisy Pink. It's just a really pretty pink, so. This is the final look. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you in the next video. I love you. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for following me on Instagram. And especially when you guys write to me in the DMs, it's so, so special. So I hope you guys have a great night, day, wherever you are watching this. And I will see you guys later.